mechanism. Like if any of you have ever worn a, like Solomon boots or anything yeah. of those. Mm -hmm. One lace system that binds it up in the front. And in the case of this one, there's a separate heavy duty vinyl strap along the back that would just go up around the back heel right above the, the line of the sole. Just to hold it in place. And that also has a similar click mechanism just to hold versatility trekking poles. You can expand them. I was I observed that I was yeah. going to say that you can expand and you can collapse. So mm -hmm. if you are going, let's say, uphill, you can shorten them up. Mm -hmm. and so I would be better off using my trekking poles than my crossfire seat. Depending on the variety of terrain, mm -hmm. if you're doing a lot of hilly stuff and you know you don't mind unscrewing and then mm -hmm. re putting it, you know, putting it back in. Because uh, your feet, although you're not sinking deep <laughs> into the snow, you do sink a little bit. Mm -hmm. So your, your, your feet are probably going to get wet if you don't have a waterproof shoe. Um, so it's recommended that you have something that is insulated because waterproof alone is not, does not necessarily mean that it's insulated and good for cold weather. Um, presumably if you're snowshoeing, there's snow on the ground, it is therefore cold outside. So if you're going to be out for a long period of time, it's, you should probably have something that's insulated. Or, in the alternative, you can get a, you know, some toe warmers which are those little chemical warmers that go inside your shoes and will heat your toes for six hours, and some really warm socks to put in your waterproof hiking boots. A lot of people do it that way, too. Um, they are wet. The, the material's wetting through. So all you need to do is clean them up and treat them, and that'll keep them lasting for a long time. So that's something to bear in mind as you're putting on waterproof boots to go snowshoeing. Treat them with warm. Right. <laughs> there are there are lots of products on the market. Nick Wax mm -hmm. is one that springs to mind as a brand. Snow Seal. Snow Seal, yeah. depending yeah. on what kind of leather you have um, for your boots, because that's oh. generally with winter outdoor activities, in order to stay warm, comfortable, you're wanting you're going to want to start with what's called a wicking base layer. Um, generally, with this type of base layer, think of it long underwear, thermals. You're going to want something that's usually out of a synthetic material, polyester, uh, nylon-based materials, polypropylene is good, uh, lightweight wool is very, very good, and also traditional silk. A lot of people still use the silk long underwear. I do the same thing. It's great, especially because it's very, very thin, and you can slide stuff on top of it. Uh, this one made by a company called Catula. Uh, Catula is a manufacturer that makes you know, mountaineering crampons. They also make... Uh, running snowshoes, but they make these called the micro spike. So if you notice, and you mentioned earlier, sir, they're basically just like the chains you put on your snow tires. 
So they have some chain material and spike. So when you put it on the bottom of your shoe, you are guaranteed solid traction when you're on ice, trail, uh, slick conditions. I go running out here in the uh, West Branch lot all the time, and those trails, especially around now, you can never tell. But with this, it'll give you at least the confidence so you're not going to be as finicky on the trail. So for walking, running, hiking, something like this is nice.